Number four, uh, part two, the <laughs> cop block, which we just called it. Definitely a thing we thought of uh, well in advance here. Cop block. Um, this is uh, also foreign police, so uh, good news, no shootings uh, yeah. as a result. So I don't um, know. Seems like all foreign cops, based like, on this, all the all their bad stories are like Benny Hill skits. That's yeah. basically what's going that on. That almost feels like that would be right. Like they wouldn't even fire their gun like towards America, but the bullet would like curve, <laughs> and then they'd be like, "Oh, what happened?" <laughs> Like uh, yeah, cops in other countries are still like the Keystone cops. Um, here it's just like no, they have like body armor and uh, machine guns or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so this Scottish farmer named Bruce Grubb, who's 24, a very young farmer, good for him I guess, uh, called cops to report a tiger in his cow shed, sparking an armed police standoff. This is in how I'm trying to find the town. How sick would this have been if these two stories were combined? Where Bruce Grubb called two cops that were super high on edibles <laughs> and told them that he had a tiger in his cow shed. And they're like, oh my God. That sounds oh. awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. This is going to be great. So, so this, guy, great. This, guy, this guy was worried oh, that yeah. he was throwing a housewarming party at his farm. And he farm saw. Farm warming party. Yep, farm warming. And he saw the tiger. Um, in the in the farmhouse, and he was worried that they were going to it was going to attack the pregnant cows. Now, if you can see, what, it's very blurry. What but a selfless there's, farmer! There's, okay, I saw now. a tiger, I would be like, "My cows!" I'd be okay, like, now, "Whoa, a tiger!" Where do you live that you might come across tigers, but you're still comfortable having a farm warming? Yeah, nowhere because this is Scotland, um, and there's not a lot of fucking tigers <laughs> in Scotland. Now, so so the cops show up, um, the 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 first responders. <laughs> And they set up a well, perimeter. Their first responders, they definitely got to a couple things before this, I, I would assume. Uh, the frightened like, farmer says, right the over. thirst responders, they got dry mouth, baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this, this guy says, the first officer to respond to the scene was so scared that he, quote, refused to get out of the squad car. Um, no, <laughs> I don't know. I think you just rewind what I just said and imagine it in a hilarious but incomprehensible <laughs> Scottish accent. <laughs> because their slang is completely incomprehensible. Oh, yeah. Scottish but Twitter is amazing. Yeah, oh, Scottish God. Twitter is I might maybe just look the funniest. Up a Scottish Twitter too. Um, that. But they, but so there was <laughs> the armed police. That first of all, they called a local wildfire park to see if they had an escape tire. Because, yeah, you want to... Where did this come from, yeah, right? I mean, of course. it's not native to Scotland, uh, so it seems unlikely there'd just be one roaming around. So you check with the zoos, maybe. Um, but then they had a... What was referred to as a 45-minute standoff. They realized the supposedly terrifying beast was actually just a big plush toy. So this is a stuffed tiger. These guys had, like, a whole perimeter set up, and they were, you know... I'm imagining, like... American police in an action movie where they have like the gun over the back of the car, like the oh, like, yeah. like don't do it, tiger, you know, and it's, uh, it's the spotlight. What's his fucking name from Die Hard? Um, the guy who's just also Hans. in uh, is it Hans? Are you no, thinking the, of Hans? The good cop oh, Al, from Die Hans Hard. Gruber, Al Powell. No, the, Reginald, yeah, Bell, Reginald Bell Johnson. Reginald Bell Johnson. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to think. We're talking about Carl a, Winslow. I knew it was Hans a fancy Gruber. name, but the only fancy <laughs> name I could think of was Lady Doritos. And I was like, that's not it. What's his name? Lady Doritos. Reginald Lady Doritos. <laughs> Someone write the rest of Lady Doritos. Yeah. Crunchy Lucy in Latin. the sky with Doritos. This is now just an improv uh, podcast. We're just going to spend the rest oh, of the time God. working out Lady <laughs> Doritos. Um, so now, if this happened in the U.S., there would have been at least one shot fired. Um, there would have been a helicopter. I'm assuming uh, that would have been like yep. a whole, like yeah. a battering ram or something for some reason. Yeah, like the whole <laughs> battering, like one yeah. of those fucking tanks, like the one that they blow up and die hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe some FBI guys fighting over jurisdiction. You like, know, whatever. Mm, yeah, riot shields moving one step at a time <laughs> yeah. to box the tiger in, like in like in fucking 300. But it's a tiger. Got- it's terrorism, pal. It's our jurisdiction. It's like, what are you? <laughs> what? You got yeah, Martin Lawrence claiming to be a federale for yeah. some reason. Yeah. So it's, um, uh, yeah, it's, it, they're like this uh, ISIS trained a tiger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, it was Scotland, so it's like one guy who's just like Christ. I'm not getting. Like, I'm not getting out of the car. Right. I gotta read one of these Scottish tweets because they're doing the Scottish voice already. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Me ma had a go at this for using too much toilet roll. We all just will. We all just leave my arse. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this is now probably offensive. Me ma had a go at this for using too much toilet roll. We all just leave my arse kiked in shit shite to save you an extra pound fifty, you fucking weapon. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Weapon is an insult. What? Matched a lassie on Tinder and was Snapchatting her, seeing how my dad is fair where she blah blah. Oot, where... <sighs> 
What? Oh, saying how my dad is from where she is, blah blah, turns out my cousin is hot. But in Scottish it goes, how my dad is fae where she is, blah blah, turns out my cousin's tidy. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> this Dude. is so. Picture this interview with the with yeah. the yeah. I mean, Try to read any of these. Look, man, I'm. <laughs> I can't. I can't do this. Man, yeah. I grew up in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing because it's like, they, like Scotland. They still speak English. Like this is like so. Do they though? <laughs> well, do they? Yeah. I mean, you know. Uh, this one makes us baby coffin on the bus. Right as I needed to cough, so I nearly exploded, holding it in, because I didn't want to look like the guy who copies babies. <laughs> All right, dude. Relatable Sorry. Con- right, Relatable man. content. Look, I really okay. think you need to see the jumble of words. Um, I feel like you really played up these Scottish tweets. I may uh, genuinely want that removed from the podcast. <laughs> <laughs>